Are you ready for another snack surprise taste testing? Today, we are going to Austria. Uh, these some, they look good. The, some of the things look good. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we've got to start with the drink, right? Yep. Okay, get going with the drink. This is Al... Um, Dudler. Al... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Australia's most popular and national drink. Austria. Austria. What did I say? Australia. Did I? Austria's most popular and national drink. Unmistakable refreshing taste of natural alpine herbs. Herbs? Since 1957. Now, I would say, um, I've had some comments about my pronunciations of, of words. Now, with each box from Snack Surprise, we get one of these. And in each of them, has the lists of all the foods and drinks. Uh, so I'm reading from here. How is the Alm Dudler? It's not bad, but it's not good. I don't really know. It's an odd one. It smells all right. It just doesn't have much flavour, I don't think. Once you've drank it, there's no real aftertaste. It's lemony. No, I like that. I think it's quite nice, but it's not like amazing. No, that's good. I don't know if I'd get one again. I would. It's it's got some lemon. It's very lemony, but um, it's not as it's not as sharp. It's not as sharp. I don't think it really has an aftertaste. Yeah. It linger. I don't think. I think that tastes really good. Hmm. Al Mud Al Am Dudler. Very good. Next. Let's go savoury first. Were they mini fritz? Mini fritz salts. Sliced. They're Kelly's. Oh no, my sister's called Kelly. I think that's why she brought it up. Sliced from whole Austrian potatoes, gently roasted until golden and seasoned with salt sauce from the Austrian Alps. Everything's from the Austrian Alps, it seems. They're very small. They are. Let's have some. They're tiny. Hang on. I'm going to show them from close up. Just hang on. There you go. That is how tiny they are. I really like these. Oh. They're really salty. No, I think they're just like ready salted. I don't know really good though. Very Yeah, and by having them so thin, I think that gives them loads of crispiness. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. Very good. Really Kelly's, nice. you have done well, Kelly's. Very good. Next, also Kelly's. Peanut. Snips. Peanut snips, hang on. Kelly snips. Austrian. Oh, they're just puffs. Austrian grown corn meets the delicious taste of peanuts in this light and fluffy snack, the lightest way to enjoy peanuts. They smell really good. Oh, they're very peanutty. Mm. Mm. Very peanutty. So you've got the, the taste of the peanuts, the crunch, not the crunch, but the wafery of a sort of a what's it. But a little bit staler. They taste a little bit staler. That's all I'm going to say for them. But I like them. I it's, not, like it's not something I would have thought of having, like a peanut flavoured. It's an unusual texture, isn't it? Because it is like a what's it, but not quite a what's it. Mm. You're right, almost a bit staler. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Nice not Austria's doing well so far. Doing well so far. Next. Let's go with this thing because they're intriguing me. Okay. Uh, what are they called? They are. Draggy Keksi? Ah. Draggy? I'm going to say Draggy Keksi. 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 Crunchy biscuits covered in delicious chocolate. They have enjoyed great popularity since the 1960s. It's very dark. I thought they looked like, um, like, uh, what do you call them? Prunes. I thought they looked like prunes to start I with. I did think it was chocolate covered fruit. There you go. Nice. They're good. They are good. So let me just the bite into it. Really nice in them. Mm. Really, really nice. It's quite a. Mm. Check that out. I really like them. The chocolate's darker. Yeah. But not too dark. Yeah, I, we said this I think in the last unboxing, um, but this chocolate is. It's it's dark, but it doesn't have the strong bitterness. Mm -hmm. And which I think complements the biscuit quite well. And the biscuit's really nice and soft. Next, what a roll. These are good. Let's try sport gummy. Sport gummy. 
Unique fruit gummies containing active sportiness. What? Oh. That's not an ingredient. Are they glucose sweets, basically? They include well-balanced ingredients for a quick power source. I don't know. They've got dextrose in, yeah. It's basically a glucose sweet. Oh, is it? Hang on. So don't eat too many. Don't eat too many. So there you go. They've got... They're like a, a softer fruit pastel. I think they're really good. Mmm. No, like a softer fruit pastel. But a bit more tough in the middle. Hang on, Pixie wants to make an appearance. There you go then. Hello everyone. Oh. I don't think she wants to stay no, with she you. She doesn't want to say hello to the camera. Next, do you want me to eat this? Yes. So this is out of date, but I'll eat it. I will do it for It you did guys. arrive out of date. It's just taken us a little while to catch up. We got so many boxes. Linzer, do you want to open it for me? Linzer Schnitt, traditional Austrian short crust pastry with good, with good, with ground hazelnuts, a fruity currant, an apple filling, and a classic dough lattice. Um, I'm gonna have a go. It actually smells really nice, so I'm gonna try it. Go on then, it is out of date and you're worried. Go on then. If you're ill in the morning, we'll blame the Austrians. Oh, it's actually really nice. Mm. Okay. Check that out. The the um there's definitely some cinnamon in there. It's got a hint of cinnamon, but it's not overpowering. No, because I don't like cinnamon. I don't really get the hazelnut though. Do you get the hazelnut? Because I haven't really got much hazelnut. That's nice. But sure. It's very nice. Quite um flaky pastry. Flaky pastry, mm. and that's what you want. Flaky pastry. Very nice. The jam inside it is quite is a strong burst. Mm. It's a burst of flavour. Really nice though. That's good. I I'll like finish that. that. Shall we try this thing? Go on. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Uh, the Bet Hupfel. Bet Hupfel? Not sure. Exquisite hazelnut brittle cream on a crispy filled wafer covered with fine dark chocolate. The perfect bedtime treat. Oh my god. Don't take it all. Is it good? Oh mm, my god, the crumb. So good. That, that hazelnut cream. So you've got the chocolate around the outside, the wafer at the bottom, and the chocolate cream. I could eat so many of them. That's all yours. You can finish that. I'll save that for afterwards for me to eat. That's really good. Oh, that's so good. Um, the the um, dark chocolate isn't overpowering either. Once I again. think the hazelnut cream is the overpowering taste, and it's so mm. nice. Shall we try Bobby? Bobby? Hang on. Bobby's at the top. Bobby caramel. Caramel cream sprinkled with wheat, rice crisps, and coated with milk chocolate. This iconic bar was created in 1967. 1967, how's that? Hogging it. A bit like a, um, oh, what is it? That tastes like a double decker. A bit like a double decker, but thinner. Tastes just like a double decker. That's good though. Pretty good. Austria. They are smashing it out the park. I don't. There's nothing we haven't liked yet. Hmm. Mm. Should we try these things? Mm. That is a Mozart Kugel. Kugel. What? Chocolate balls with nougat cream core covered in marzipan and coated in dark chocolate. An Austrian favourite. I'm not a massive fan of marzipan. Are we having half each or do yeah, we? Yeah, we'll do half each. Oh, I love the actual, look, look at Mozart on it. How cool is that? Do you like it? Mm. This is funky inside, look. Mm. So nice. See? You don't normally like marzipan. No, however. It's it, a good balance, isn't it? it? It's like a cherry bake hole style mm. marzipan. So yummy. And I love Cherry Bakewell. The balance of it and... Charlie made me a really good um, Cherry Bakewell a few weeks back, didn't you? Mm. The balance of that with the nougat though. Mm -mm. Delicious, delicious. Let's try... I'm so impressed. These. I've had something like these before and so have you. We've tried these. Snack minis. Ten crispy wafer slices. How is there ten in there? I'm not going to lie. Uh, with milk and hazelnut cream The Hazelnut pieces in the cream layer provides an extra crunch. Oh wow. Oh, it looks so good. Oh wow, look how, look at that. Oh, smell it. Look oh, at the layers. Don't smell that much. 
I could eat the wife of things on their own. I could eat the whole pack of them in one go. <laughs> So good. I think we need to go to Austria. Didn't I say we should go on holiday to Austria? Hmm. Oh no, I said Bulgaria. Oh, mm. ignore me. Not quite the same. Mm. One left. I can't believe. I cannot believe how good. That everything has been good. Hold on, one Probably. more. One more. Mm. Oh, this is a bit melted, I think. We've been in the fridge. Okay, this is. Choco banana. It's definitely banana. Yeah. A fruity. Oh, you smell the banana. <laughs> it's definitely banana. A fruity, tender banana mousse covered in crisp chocolate. This chocolate banana will make your palate dance with joy. Is that. Oh, it's melting. How is that melting? It's been in the fridge. It's, really it's hot in here. We're about to have a heat wave. We're melting. How is it? It is. But it is. Um, it's. So unlike other banana stuff, the other banana stuff is like a it's like a foam, isn't it? That's really nice though. This is a banana mousse. Look at that. It's actually squished. How have we had a box that we like everything? This is delicious. <laughs> it, That's I'm, really nice. I'm not a massive fan of bananas. No. Neither of us like actual bananas. We like banana flavoured things, mm. but that's so good. Wow. Austria. Now, the leaders. The leading country is New Zealand, right? Mm -hmm. The leading country is New Zealand. However, I will say Austria is now the leader of the best snacks from our snack surprise I agree. box. Austria is the winner so I far. I can't wait to, like, all of this we will finish and really enjoy. Mm. There's nothing here I didn't like. Delicious. Are you doing your best and your Go worst? On. You can do your best and worst. So, my worst is actually in your hands right now. The drink was actually probably my least favourite. I think it's really good. I don't like, I don't hate it, I would drink it, but I don't think I would necessarily order one myself. My favourite. That's tough. Um, it's very tough. I'm gonna go with this little thing. What? The Beth Hupful. But Beth Hutz, Beth Hupful. Can't pronounce it, it's this so bad, thing isn't it? was my favourite, amazing. Um. Okay, my least favourite. Now, this is really, really difficult. I'm going to say my least favourite was this. Really? It was nice, but I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon. Oh, yeah, you don't really like But I'm not saying I wouldn't eat it, and I would eat it. Uh, my most fa most favourite? Is that, a, is that a way of saying things? Most favourite? My, oh, my, my favourite. My <laughs> favourite? Oh, man. Um, it's a real tough one. It really is. I'm going to say my favourite oh, is the Mozart. Really? I'm going to go with the Mozart. That. And you don't like marzipans. I'm so surprised. No, because I like cherry bakewells. That mm. is my favourite. That was incredible. Um, what an awesome box. So good. Such that a good was, box. That is the best box from Austria. And sorry if you can hear the dog in the background. She's shut out of the, of the kitchen. Um, Austria has done it. They are the leaders. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Subscribe to the vlog channel down below in the description. Make sure you say in the comments, which one of these do you think you would have liked most? And have you tried any of these? They're going back in the fridge now because they will melt. Uh, we will catch you next time.